Welcome again to another Activia training video. Looking at PowerPoints this time. Now I've got a problem here. We have a presentation put together. Here's slide one. Here's slide two, slide three. Slide two, we seem to be missing a lot of content on here. There should be some data or circles or something, but I've got a suspicion it's not been deleted, but it's just gone away somewhere. So what we need to do is click on the Home tab and we're going to have a look at using something called the Selection pane. So over on Select, just turn on the Selection pane. Aha, now what we can see straight away here visually, these little eye graphics in boxes show me data that's either visible or non-visible. So down the bottom, if I click text box one in the box, let's just move this over so you can see. Can float these boxes around. We can see that things should start to appear. Here we go. One, two, three. So the problem was things were just being switched off here and you, you just couldn't see them. There's the title, so that, that was text box one. So sometimes people do go in there and they just turn things off in the selection pane, maybe forget about it, but it, I can see it can be a handy tool to, to operate. The group names are because various shapes have grouped elements inside them. That's obviously got some sort of oval here. A text box, a couple of text boxes, one for the number, one for the text, and then the green oval itself. So you can see I can turn off the green oval, turn off the text box. So as a group it can be separately controlled, the different elements inside it. So it's a little known feature, but it could be quite useful especially if you've got problems with things that somebody's gone in and disabled, turned off using this feature. So that's the selection pane in Microsoft PowerPoint.